Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here, as ever. Today is gonna be a busy day. We have seven interviews. Seven, you know what seven is? One less than eight. And one more than six. We have seven people coming in, and then some of, some of those people are doing Google Hangouts, interviews for people here at the shop, for positions like our intern, for positions like our admin assistant, and our videographer, which is fantastic, because this ties well into today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. It's an online learning community that has over 22,000 courses in everything from business, to marketing, to painting, to videography. So if you want to brush up on your skills, you want to learn more about out these things, you can head to my link in the description, and the first 700 of you that hit that link are gonna get two months of Skillshare for free so that you can hone your knowledge in those respective crafts, make yourself more employable, help your own business, all that fun stuff, so thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna do a little bit of computer work. Will has very kindly brought in his forge, which we can use temporarily. Maybe be able to make some hooks, make some fun things like that. We'll be able to make it so that the Forging in Montana t-shirt isn't a lie in 2018. This was a big concern. Now this is a big concern because there's a t-shirt on my website that you can buy now which says Forging in Montana 2018 and we have so much to do that frankly it was starting to get a little concerning about whether there was gonna be any Forging in Montana in 2018. It would have lended itself as a great opportunity to sell a Forging in Montana shirt 2019, but I thought that that would have been just a little bit, uh, you know, better that we do some Forging in Montana in 2018. So we've got the Forge, Will's gonna get that set up. We've got anvils, we've got hammers. We don't have anything to hammer on yet. You might need to propane. run out and grab some steel at some point today. Get some quarter inch, some three eighths, some half inch. We could maybe even start making some hooks this evening. Are you down? I'm down. We're gonna make, we're gonna do some forging tonight. You're gonna get that forge set up, I'm gonna do some computer work, there are gonna be some interviews, but you're obviously not gonna see a whole lot of that because we don't wanna be pointing a camera in, in people's faces straight off the bat. That's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of rude. Let's get right into it. So, something very exciting has just showed up. This has come all the way from the United Kingdom. My old home, this is a box of swords. A box of, oh, that's heavy, oh my goodness. Oh, this is a box of beautiful swords. <laughs> I have been waiting for this. So these are the swords that I had on display, some that I didn't have on display in the old workshop. So I am super thrilled that this has turned up because it means that we can put some swords up, decorate the workshop, and it's nice. It's nice to have some of your own work and be able to look at it and see where you can improve on it. And this isn't just swords. In the UK, there was a hand cleaner that I really liked called Swarfiga. This isn't sponsored by Swarfiga. It had to get FDA clearance, so it took a while to get this box of swords through customs. But there is my favorite hand cleaner in the world in there. So I can't wait to have that too, as well as the swords. Oh, here we go. Oh. Whoa. One of the other things that I had in here was a nice print of my county of Norfolk in the UK. Here's the soap, which kind of looks like it's exploded. Whoops. And here we go, let's find the sword. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Hey, I recognize that one. This is the sword that Will and I made the first time we worked together. Let's have a look. Look at that. Mmm. So it's been a while since you've seen that one, eh? Oh yeah. 15, 16 months now? Something like yep, that? Yep, something like that. Oh! The spine, I forgot how beautiful that is. If you want to see this series, check out the Pirates Cutler series on my channel. And there's a falchion. <laughs> hey, look at that. That is so cold, it's unbelievable. That must have been sitting in a very cold and unheated warehouse. Oh, ha Will, have a feel of this. You've not felt this yet, have you? Whoa, isn't, what? Isn't that crazy? Holy cow. That is the lightest thing imaginable. One of the most amazing things for me getting into sword making, I've made swords that were so far from being close to the historical swords. And then I made swords that were a little bit closer. This falchion with the help of James Elmsley was a sword that was a little bit closer to a, an actual piece. And when it's close to the historical examples, you swing it, you feel it, and you go, oh, that's why these things were amazing tools of war, because they feel good. That is just nuts. I like that a lot. They feel swingable. They feel lively, right? Let's go pillage a village. Well, there's gonna be no village pillaging. Oh, 
Man, we never gonna do anything fun here. So we're gonna put some of those on the wall here in a little bit. I gotta do more computer work, and Will's gonna crack on with some more stuff. Okay, we are now two interviews in. Going well so far. We've had a couple great applicants and uh, some good chats with them. Got just a little bit of time before the next one, and uh, just thinking about this, even two applicants in, I'm already thinking that this is gonna be difficult to choose the right person for the roles that we're trying to fill. And frankly, that's probably a good thing. The more difficult the decision is, it probably means it's for the better, because it means that I've got a better range of applicants to choose from, and whoever it is that I pick is gonna be better than it being an easy, easy, easy choice. I don't know if that's the truth. I'm new to all this, but I'm excited to drop back in in just a little while, tell you how some more of the interviews are going. So we're waiting on another application to show up here, but in the meantime, some more CO2 and argon mix just arrived. I very cleverly didn't check the leaks on this, and I emptied an entire argon CO2 bottle the other day. But we have the cart for the oxypropane, so we can make sure that none of those skip over. And so I'm gonna put this bottle back up here while Will puts the oxygen and the propane back up. Holy moly, there we go. Give it a chain. I don't know that this is gonna fit. Really? Does it fit? No. Can we put the oxygen on first? Okay. So it fits. Look at that. Perfect. Wow. Well, this looks so much neater. I've always wanted an oxypropane kit on a cart, but I was always too cheap to buy one. Yeah. I finally got one. So it means that we have oxypropane fuel anywhere in the shop. More time has passed. I've had some more fantastic interviews. This is gonna be some hard choices that I'm, that I'm gonna have to make. Meanwhile, Will just did a run to the steel supply because we kind of want to do some forging as we said earlier and now that I'm seeing this steel stock here it's making me really have an itch to do some forging so we're gonna be doing that but two minutes another guy's gonna show up for the videographer position this just showed up from our friend Jared Todd a happy birthday Alec thank you Jared I am so grateful he says every shop needs a stack of 15 and 20 and a good file he sent me a good file thank you so much for the good file, and here's the thing, the stack of 15 and 20. So I'm gonna quickly get ready for that next interview. Will is gonna hook up the Ford with some of our propane. Soon we're gonna have that fire lit. We had some more fantastic interviews. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all the swords out of the box, and then we're gonna hang them up and use them as some wonderful decoration here in the shop. Did you almost cut my arm off? No, I almost cut my shoulder off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's unbox some swords. The rapier. The Chris. The falchion. The pirate's cutlass. The wrangler. Nope, that's not a sword number one. The katana. The one day sword. So the gladius got damaged in transit. Claymore damaged the transit. Holy cow. Isn't that crazy? What? Feel how light it is. This is nuts. Three times the size of me, so it's what? Three feet long? About three foot long, yep. Okay. I do like that sword. It's ridiculous. It's also... Really sharp. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. That is just terrifying. <laughs> like, I'm hardly swinging this. Well, there you have it. I've got a couple more interviews to do with the rest of the day, but we've got some time. And so, our friend has kindly arrived with his paint sprayer, which means that it's time to make this grinding room a little, a little prettier. You don't like the natural MDF color? I think, I think it'd be better white. Well, good thing I put down that liner.
I think I've got to say it. A spray gun works way better than rollers. With swords on the wall, the grinding room painted. Thank you, Ted, and thank you, Will. It's time to light the forge for us to do some forging. So I've got my first hook end forged. We don't have a hot cut hardy, so I can't cut it off. I'm gonna have to cut it off cold. I have four more pieces of steel. Will, you have one piece of steel. I'm gonna forge four more hook ends. Will's gonna forge one more hook end. Production style. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six hooks in liggity split of a minute. cracking away on some more. It feels pretty good to be forging in Montana. How's it feel, Will? So good, although to be fair, I've been forging in Montana for like a year and a half now, so. I've been forging in Montana for one hour, but it's good to be doing it. As we round out today's episode of the vlog, I want to thank today's sponsor, which has been Skillshare. It's the online learning community with over 22,000 courses in everything from videography to business to marketing to doing watercolors. You can learn it all with Skillshare. The course that I want to recommend today is by Drew Garachi, his DSLR filmmaking how to film. Stunning time-lapse video. You've seen some of the beautiful time lapses that I've filmed here in Montana. You can learn how to do some of that over at Skillshare and the first 700 of you who sign up at my link below are gonna get two months of Skillshare for free. Membership usually only starts for 10 bucks but the first 700 of you that do hit that link down below are gonna get those two months for free. So check it out. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Keeping everybody educated. Thank you to all the people that came in for their interviews today. It was a fabulous experience. Lots of great people, lots of hard decisions to make. It has been a pleasure as always and I cannot wait to see you on the next episode. Bye bye.